Hello friends, it is Miss Fushi and welcome to the final episode of Blank Dream. So, where we are now, um, we have gone through all three of Yuzu's doors. I went ahead and did that. And all three of uh, Mr. Ryotaro's doors. And now, the, um, the walkthrough says we gotta go meet the old man and the creepy lady. And then that'll give us a final ending. But I did find out that there is an extra door um that we can go through it doesn't have anything to do with the endings but it is an extra door and i would like to go through that and like fully complete the game so it says that we need to go to the realm of greenery where we first got the lantern that's right and there is a fireplace there that is a great idea so we are going to go down here <clears throat> Sorry, I was coughing a second ago. So much brighter here. Okay. Yes, let's go down the ladder. Ooh. A marvelous painting. There's a lot of blood over here. <laughs> you can tell I didn't read that far into the guide, can't you? <laughs> Wait, was that the right file to open? Yeah, that looks right. Okay. All I did was it, I to it told me where to go. I don't like to read so far that I know everything I'm supposed to do. That was silly. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's try that again. Because that was clearly not the right thing to do. I think I already know, though, what we're supposed to do. <clears throat> okay. So. A metal fixture. I wondered why we were able to take two swords. Is that the right thing to do? Oh, thank... There's the mirror, guys! The mirror shows someone's reflection. It's certainly not her, yet Mishiro felt she could see in. Let's find out. This is exciting. I like finding hidden stuff. 13 years ago? At an inn? <clears throat> so long ago. All that talk about taking a trip together. So this was your goal. Trips are necessary for resting your body and mind, you know. And the kids seem to have fun today, too. They're snoozing away now. A good thing for you, isn't it? So, Tamaki, won't you consider it? Drop it, please. Itsuro is my child. But Seiichi told me how you've been seeing the shadow of your father and Itsuro lately. Seiichi, you told him that? Sorry, but you've looked so afraid lately. He knows the situation, so I just thought I should talk to him about it. Tamaki... The biggest load on your mind, it's art, isn't it? Utsuro is nine now. From now on, she's going to be drawing more at school. How about leaving Utsuro with your mother until she's old enough to take this calmly? It'll be fine. If I, her mother, can't protect her, then who will? I suppose you're right, Tamaki. But it feels like you'll collapse at any rate. What'll happen to Yato, then? Nobody's perfect. You don't need to carry everything alone. Especially considering your burdens are much heavier than most. But still. I still want to hold out. I don't want to break up this family of four. Tamaki. Shinji, Chika. I'll support Tamaki as much as I can. Let me try a little longer. Saichi. If the two of you insist, then I won't stop you. But just keep in mind, Tamaki. You've already put in plenty of toil toil. So at least stop before it does you in. Right. Ah. Interesting. Though it was unclear, Mishiro looked into the mirror. She could tell it was not her mirror, and yet... Huh. 
so we did that. And I guess now we get to go back and finish off the final stuff with uh, Yuzu and Ryotara. Okay, everybody. So where we are now, we did what we were supposed to do to get the best ending. Um, we've got both Yuzu and Ryotara's all their memories, and we went to all their mirrors, and we saw old man and the creepy woman. And now here we are. So let's proceed. I want to see the best ending. Should we talk to them? You think you can open this big door? Had no trouble with the one in the back of the realm. Surely you can open it if you put your mind to it. Okay. They say the same thing, so let's go ahead and open it. Here we go, guys. So it did open. Now the next path for you to take is clear. You just ended up saving our butts this whole time, huh, Mishiro? Hmm. <laughs> Without you, doubt we would have found any mirrors. You have the right to know what I know. In fact, I want you to know. I need to talk to you. I know a thing or two about your parents. I need to tell you some things, too. About who I am, and why I'm here, and about Tamaki's daughter. Wait! Who's this? Get out! Stop! Don't meddle anymore! Give back my world! Huh? Run, you two! Through the door! Hope they followed. Whoa, is it chasing us? We'll talk later. Just run to somewhere we can hide. Oh shit. Oh god, I didn't know it would be so involved. Ah! Yeah, we're gonna save. Oh my gosh. Tibby. Don't make a guy going on 30 run for it. I'm gonna die. Looks like we've gotten away for now. Rest for a while. Alright, I guess we can hear her piece. Okay, let's get started. Who? Are we safe here? I don't sense her chasing anymore. What in the world was that? I'm about to explain that. I know who that is. Say what? I'm Yuzu Hanasaki, a middle schooler who committed suicide at 15 at Mirror Lake. The reason I killed myself was, to put it bluntly, to meet a girl I loved. Someone had killed her at Mirror Lake. It made me extremely sad. So I read all these books on black magic and killed myself to go to the afterlife. To die at the same place exactly a year later, it's said that would work. I think it's a different afterlife than the book meant, but ultimately, I came to this world. But it seems there was something to be gained here. That girl, she always said, she was someone who shouldn't have existed. I always found it weird and wondered why it was. But I found out now. She was born between a girl and her own father, between Tamaki Hinohara and Rinzoi Usui. Her very birth was taboo. That shadow? was Utsuru Hinohara. Even as she is, I can tell clearly. Because my wish was to meet Utsuru one more time. Utsuru Hinohara. That's Ayato's. But to look at the way she does now, I wonder what the story is there. But I can't go away just yet. I need to talk to Utsuru more directly or my wish won't be considered granted. Give it back. That voice! Let's get moving. We can't have a chat now, so run! Okay. Do I have to run again? Alright. Oh my god. Oh my god, she's so fast. Ugh. Oh shit! Oh shit! No, no, no! Damn it! Oh god, she got me! No! Okay, guys. We gotta go to the left. We have to go to the left. Crap. 
Oh my god, she's fast. Okay, we did it! She's really stubborn, isn't she? If it were me, I'd have thrown in the towel after all that chasing. Got it. All right, let's begin. Did we outrun her? Seems so. I don't think she's giving chase. I think the goal is close by. I don't know what'll be up ahead, so I just want to get this out. I'm Ryotaro Sengoku, younger brother of Chika Usui, Mishiro's mother, and subordinate to her dad, Shinji Usui. Okay. I knew about you a while back from a New Year's card sis sent me. To be honest, I found you cute. Not exactly a romantic thing, of course. I was captivated by your latent beauty, I suppose. But when I asked my boss about you, I learned you'd been glum and moping as of late. And I know why. You injured someone in middle school and sis kept you shackled ever since. That's right. My boss invited me over to your house and I was honestly pumped to try and help you. It made me sad to imagine such a beautiful girl moping around. He says without a second of hesitation. No poking fun now, it's the end. Huh? But I died before it happened. We got caught in a fire in a building at work. A fire? Yes, I was with your father. After that, well, it even kind of surprised me. Partly by will, I became a soul and flew around to where you were, apparently. So for the year or so between my death and yours, my spirit was sort of haunting you. What? Oh, but I was hardly even conscious of anything. I just vaguely know what happened. Um, for you see, even since I saw your photo, I considered you someone beautiful and worth protecting. So even through death, I had the wish of getting to talk to you at least once. So that was your wish? So it was. Thus it's been granted. By following you, I wound up in this world, and in this world, my unrealized wish came true. In fact, the moment I became aware of my wish, I felt I could free myself from this world any time. So you're going? Well, I've come this far. I'd like to see out your story to the end. Mishiro, the harsh circumstances you've had, and the fact that you're dead now, I don't feel like it's irrelevant to me. I can't say, don't blame your parents. But I just want you to know, I can't force you to understand or sympathize, but just know. Your father worried over, and regretted, how he was spending less time with you. He wasn't just weighing you and the inheritance on a scale. Your mother was working with your father to obtain proof that the Usui fortune belonged to them. Maybe she failed to control her strength properly. Maybe she wasn't calm, but she had no ill will, I'm sure. I'm sure after the boss and I died, she endured the sorrow of losing a husband and brother and fought for your family. Your father and mother might have been clumsy, but they weren't cold-blooded. I just wanted you to know that. It's probably too late to say now, though. But let's go on ahead. This is a door you're able to open. I'm sure there's something important for you here. If you're telling me that, then, where should my wish to erase my existence go? Do we need to run again? Alright, let's save. Just in case we have to run. Yes. Let's go. No running, good. Huh? Hey. Ayato? Why are you here? Because the soul is necessary for granting your wish. Hello, me. So you successfully broke all the mirrors. Your wish will soon come true and this world's purpose will be concluded. What do you mean? Well, hold on a second. All the actors are here. Actors? Whoa! <sighs> this mirror world revolves around you, Mishiro. You hold dominion over it. Once a deceased girl wished at Mirror Lake, I wish my life had never even existed. It was this very strong wish, and to fulfill it, 
this mirror world was created. It was made solely to realize her wish, and the other souls were just extras drawn into it. She should have granted her wish in this world she made, but she wasn't able to fulfill it, because she broke before she could. Just as she created this world, she lost everything, including her memories and her wish. So not knowing her purpose or who she was, she wandered this world and fell apart. That's in the past now, a concluded tale. Unable to achieve its goal, this world went on existing, sucking in souls who died near the lake with strong wishes. That was... But Tsuru Hinohara... Yes, she wanders this world even now. Sister. Several years later, a girl threw herself into the lake. Amazingly, she had the same wish as the world's creator. So that this world could complete its duty, it chose a new soul to control it. And so, since you carried the same wish, you became a new ruler, usurping the originator. The wish the world sought to grant stayed the same, only the person in the center of it was replaced. I was made the ruler of this world? The extra riffraff who felt jealousy towards you still see the broken originator as the rightful ruler. And maybe, broken though she may be, she personally has gotten in your way many times. Even so, you successfully broke all the mirrors without even wasting weeks or months being lost. You shattered and erased all remnants of you in the form of mirrors containing your past. Having recorded all your actions, I can attest to that. But it's not just over yet. This boy's soul is absolutely necessary for total erasure of your life. Because he's simply too significant to you. Without eradicating his soul, your life can't be nullified. So, it was none other than you who unconsciously bound his soul to this world, such that you could kill him by your own hand. You aren't telling me that I have to kill Iato. What's the problem? You may feel guilty for a second, but right after that, you have never existed. Mishiro, you're still suffering, huh? You do resemble my sister after all. Even as a soul, you have her name. You do resemble my sister after all. Even as a soul, you have her same wish. If you kill me, you'll be free from your pain. Right after my death, your conflict will end. It's your world. You can make the choice. I don't know. I don't know what to, I, I don't know what I should do. My words. I've overcome a lot of obstacles coming here. I've looked back on my past and erased it. But is it really right to just make it so I never existed? Thinking back, it was a boring life. I wouldn't say it was entirely devoid of enjoyment. But if you asked whether I'd live the same life again, I'd absolutely refuse without a doubt. In fact, if I had to say... I've come to hate it all. I wish my life had never even existed. And yet, I've learned that my mom and dad gave their best efforts for me, clumsy as they were. And I know there's a person who valued me, going as far as to come to this world to encourage me. Can I make all of that something that never happened? And that's not all. Seeing Yuzu and Utsuro, I had a thought. If Utsuro's life had never existed, what would become of Yuzu's feelings? Desperately turning to black magic, killing herself, and wandering this world for years? All to finally realize her wish to come to her again? What would become of that? I'll make the choice, to grant that wish or not. But I wanted Zero to see this out too. Because it's her same wish. And this is her world I inherited. If only in pieces, learning about Atsuro from the mirrors has fulfilled the mirror's purpose. Ayato and Yuzu are both here. With these two, I'm sure we can get Azuro's memory back. Indeed. Maybe a little of it. Really? Sister? Memory? Listen, Azuru Hinohara, you need to remember your birth, your death, and the one who loved you. Mishiro spoke at length of the things she'd seen and heard in this world. Her mother, Tamaki, her father, Rinzo, the Hinohara family she lived with, Yuzu. She spoke as Atsuro's mirror. She spoke as Atsuro's mirror, all that she knew. 
Sira. I see. I haven't felt this in a long time. But Sira! Yuzu, you fool. I told you to forget about me if I died. <laughs> well, I couldn't. Is it you, sister? It is Ayato. So even you ended up here. I didn't intend to hand the world over to you. I was even thinking of killing you to forcibly take back control. Even more so now that I've remembered my wish. I want to erase my mother, my true father, myself. But alas, I've become indebted. It's a fact that if you hadn't been here, my mind would have stayed fragmented forever. Do as you like before I change my mind. My choice is... I will not grant my wish. I won't do it. I can't. I can't do it anymore. Dad's secret distress, Mom's painful effort, even Ryotaro's unusual concern for me. I can't just make it all gone. And that's not all. For every mirror I broke, I'll vanish from the lives of the people I knew. And I'll also vanish from Iyato's world. But then what did Iyato die for? What did Tamaki step on the accelerator for? If it were just me, that's fine. But to control the feelings of the people around me, I have no right. That's not my wish anymore. Are you really sure about that? Just lay down. Okay. Are you really sure about that? Whatever you think, whatever you know, it won't actually change anything. Are you still giving up on your wish? I am. I see. I, the mirror world, accept abandoning the wish. Its reason for being ends here. Huh? This world can vanish when the ruler's wish is granted, or they abandon it with clear intent. It won't be left up in the air like with Atsuro. So will everyone here vanish? Except for you, Mishiro. To get it straight to the point, you're not dead yet. Huh? Your soul has left your body, of course, but your body isn't actually dead. You drowned yourself, but as it happens, a passerby found you. They called it in right away, and though unconscious, you were saved. It was a failed attempt. Mishiro, when your soul leaves here, it'll be forced back into your body. But what you've done in this world won't be written off. The memories you erased by breaking the mirrors won't come back to you when you return to life. You didn't actually carry out your wish, so the actual past isn't gone, but your memories of it are. Maybe you'll remember talking with me a bit, and things like meeting me at the lake? Are you still prepared to leave this place? Can you live in a world you've given up on living in once before? I'll live. Because I'm not dead yet. I don't want to just throw away the life you protected, Iyato. And by discarding the wish I inherited from Atsuro, I think it'll honor Yuzu's feelings. You see, that's a relief then. I absolutely can't understand my sister's wish. But you've made the choice for her. It might sound sort of trite, but I want you to live my sister's share. I want you to prove that giving up that wish was the right thing to do. Smile for my sister. That's my dream too. I'll try my best. There are people who value you. There are people who'd be sad about your death. It may be a bit warped, admittedly, but I'm one of them. The world's not much of a disappointment, you see. So, I've done my best to encourage you. You're really something, you know? You've really picked yourself back up. You went and learned not only your own wish, but mine, Yusu's, and Otsuro's. Old Ryuta- <laughs> Old Ryutaro won't say much more. Try and get along with Sis when you get back. Right. I'll try to face with her. Thank you, Mishiro. Because of you, I could get my memories and my wish. I learned about Atsuro's birth and death and got to talk with her once more. I'm satisfied now, I really am. Maybe returning to life won't mean happy things all the time, Mishiro. But I'm sure you can get up and walk again, since you've saved so many people here. Mishiro, leave incense or something at my grave. Think of it like saying hi. Okay, I'll be sure to find your grave. I'd lost from the moment I broke, I suppose. 
I won't pull any mischief. I can accept this result, though I can't say I'm entirely satisfied. Ayatu, who adored me as a sister, and Yuzu, who needed me in her life. I'm glad for the fact that I could talk with the two of them one last time. Yet, I'll fade away still, resenting that man, Rinzo, that woman, Tamaki. Surely I can be forgiven for that. That's true. Sorry for taking over your world. Sheesh. Seven years and it ends like this? As long as the ruler is satisfied, I suppose. Will Itsuro go to heaven too? Not sure about heaven or hell, but she'll be free from this world to go where she goes. That's good. I say ruler, but you're more of a usurper, technically. Mishiro? Once you get back the th and things settle down, you should visit my... That word I never learned to say. Atelier. <laughs> it's not complete, of course, but I want you to see the painting you modeled for someday. I'm excited about that. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. I'm a little scared about how much I'll forget, but I won't lose my time in this world. And I won't ever wish to erase the events to come. It's time to go. We did it. <sighs> After that, I regained consciousness in a hospital bed. Apparently, I really had been saved, and my soul returned safely from the mirror world. My mother was there, looking at me in a way I felt she hadn't in years. Mr. Rowe, you're awake! Thank goodness, oh thank goodness! If I had lost you too! I'm sorry, I'm sorry! I drove you to do this, didn't I? My mother was shocked by my suicide attempt and apologized for her harsh discipline. My head felt very, my head felt very hazy. I only remembered that she was my mother, who became very strict at some point. It took a lot just to recognize that as real. And as I thought about it, fear and unease toward my mother came up from the gaps in my memory. But it's okay. Ryotara had told me about the pressure on the Yusui's and how death attacks my mother's mind. Now that I was able to accept that, it was easy to hold my mother's hand. My brain had suffered memory loss and I could no longer remember many past events. I remember Iato was someone important to me, but I had no concrete memories of him. But I distinctly remembered talking in the mirror world and felt considerable warmth from that alone. I clearly remembered Yuzu and Ryotaro too, I'd probably only met them in the mirror world. Mishiro Osoi, is it? Hello, I'm Seiichi Hunohara. A few days after I left the hospital, a man came to visit me. His last name sounded familiar. Could you be Ayato's? Yes, thank you for getting along with Ayato. Seiichi Hunohara was Ayato's father which meant he was the one who married Tamaki, and he was the father who Utsuru grew up with. I'm not sure if I should be saying this, but I'm really glad you regained consciousness. The driver who sped toward you and Ayato, she's no longer with us. Her body was found at Mira Lake in a car that went up in flames. Ah. Oh. He meant Tamaki, his wife. But from Seichi's perspective, it would be impossible for me to know Tayaki. Tamaki. I felt it would be better to stay silent than to confuse him with unnecessary remarks. She was my wife. We met each other at school. She was humble, art-loving, and somewhat naive with a radiant smile. Her final sin came at the end of a long sorrow, but I won't ask you to forgive her. Still, if it's alright, could you visit Iyato's grave sometime? Of course. Not only Ayato, but Utsuro and Tamaki. Now maybe I could offer them prayers. That is right. Going to their graves, even Tamaki's would be the best thing to do. It feels very nostalgic. I'll look at Ayato's painting. The old fire extinguisher has been taken away. Good. Are you guys ready? Look at the canvas. Wait, is there anything else to click on? 
Aw, everything's all sad. I don't think there's anything else we can do in here. I guess not. So she took the teddy bear. All right, guys, let's do this. It might sound sort of trite, but I want you to live my sister's share. I want you to prove that giving up that wish was the right thing to do. Smile for my sister. That's my dream, too. Aww. Ayato Hinohara. Blank dream. Huh? <gasps> She's smiling. That's so beautiful. Ayato. Ah, she's smiling. It's... It's not a dream anymore. Aww. Guys, we did it. We beat the final ending. Oh my gosh. That made me want to get teary-eyed for a second there. That was so sweet. Like, I knew it would be painting a part, and I guess I should have known that she'd be smiling like that, but I wasn't sure. Ah, uh, it made my eyes teary. That was so sweet. This was a very, very good game. Like, on the surface, it's a pixel horror RPG, but when you go deeper than that, there's just so much to it. Oh, man. I felt kind of bad that I suspected that, uh... Ryo Taro was the person who had done something wrong, per se, and it was actually the old man, and it's so sad that Ayato's mom had, uh, had killed him in Atsuro. That's really, really sad, but it was still, it was an incredibly beautiful game, and I really hope you guys liked it. I want to actually run out the credits this time, just to see, like, the little good ending thing down there at the bottom. But, oh man, a huge thank you to, uh, VG Person, who translated this. Um, VG Person is, um, has the website where I get, like, all of my translated games, like, you know, uh, Misao and The Witch's House and everything else so if you want to try these games just search vg person on google and you should be able to find them so you can try this game too if you'd like or any of the other ones oh man do we get our little our little i've always wanted to go to one of her exhibitions sure enough she carries the blood of the mad genius rinzoi usui I thought I saw that Rinzoi touched to it first, but she's self-taught. It's totally different from Rinzoi's art. Huh? I suppose so. How unusual. In her twenties and climbing so high with her own style? She's not just riding off her ancestor. Rinzoi was realistic while she's more impressionist. That's true. I did feel Mirror World was too unusually abstract to be Rinzoi's style. Seeing is believing, you can tell the unique mood in her art from a glance. True, true. Now I'm getting really excited to see it. Her most famous masterpiece of all, her. Ending one, blank dream. Her fantasy, to live in a dream within white canvas. So, she ended up being an artist. Ah, it's so perfect. Oh man, there was still a lot of sadness to the ending with, you know, the characters whose lives couldn't be saved, who passed on, but there was just, there was also so much happiness there, just the conclusion, like, oh man, and I hope that Tamaki and Rinzoi end up, you know, being forgiven and, and going somewhere good as well. I hope Atsuro can learn to forgive them, because... Although what they did was wrong, their intention wasn't to hurt anyone, you know? Even though it was quite a horrible thing that they did do. But, wow, I, uh, 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this series. It was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Uh, wasn't quite, wasn't quite a crooked man, but it definitely wasn't like a me sow or something like that. Um, but yes, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please click the thumbs up down below. Leave a comment, your thoughts about the series. Were there any loopholes or things that you didn't see solved or questions you want answered or anything you want me to clarify that occurred? I'd be more than happy to. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm going to go through. I found some other pixel horror games that I really want to try too. So I'm going to be doing those in the coming weeks. Um, but yes, I'm so, so glad you were here with me today to finish up this series, to add to our now growing list of finished series. It seems like just last year, and it was just last year, that I started this channel, and, you know, to see how far we've come is just, it's a really good feeling. So once again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next series. Bye-bye, and thank you.